on tonight's episode of Top Gear. What the fuck? If you haven't watched the last episode, go watch that before you watch this video. We are currently in Kentucky. I've been driving for the past six hours or so. So this morning, I didn't really get to vlog because I woke up, I slept in the back seat. The front passenger was completely empty, like the, the strut fully aired out. So I was like, fuck. I have an air leak on top of the manifold leaking. I got it limped to a shop called, I forgot, but essentially what they were able to do is to just shoot some air. They had to replace one of the fittings on the, on the strut and then they shot some air on it. They unplugged the manifold, my controller, I can't air out and I've just been driving as much as I can so I can try and make as much progress as possible because <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys right now. That's where the front's at. This is where the rear is. I mean, holy fuck, dude. Like, my car, the, the car just looks so, so stupid. But, oh, yeah, you can also see that airline fully zip tied. This is like the jankiest car I've ever had. I still have a ways to go from here, so I just stopped for a little rest because cruise control doesn't work and my foot's been killing me. I've hit so much traffic on the way here, but we're gonna keep driving. Yeah, I just, I just can't believe it that <laughs> that car made it here. Um, it's obviously I don't have room in here, so it's it's sitting out in the driveway. It's like one in the morning here. I just straight shot it from Atlanta to here. Uh, I don't even know how many hours that was. I've probably have gotten like a total of four or five hours of sleep the past three or something days. I've lost count. I am so tired. So I'm gonna go to bed and pick this up tomorrow feel way better after that sleep feel like a human again so i these are the old headlights from the wagon and they're ppf like restored they're super nice these are the, one, these are the ones i did the amber delete on the reason why these are off of the wagon is because i got these new headlights so these were built by uh, a friend in philadelphia i'll tag them in the video and these are 2019 TLX jewels retrofitted into the uh, TSX housings. Probably one of the most like my favorite things I've done to this car. It modernizes it and just kind of brings it up to like the modern era, I feel like. And they work really well. I, uh, so he built them. I did all the wiring and stuff. I actually discovered some new things uh, and helped them out with uh, some relays 
on the headlights. But I'll have to show that like on a separate video because I really want to throw these in. The headlights on the car are, that are currently on the car are just so bad. Like they're bothering me so much. And actually like, up, like it was just hard to see at night. So I'm gonna throw these on. I'm gonna throw some new bulbs in. Might try and find, hopefully see if I have some type of shift knob or something laying around so I could get that Dragon Ball shift knob off. But let's get to work. of this there's underglow in here that I'm we cut taking off <clears throat> this was grinding out so much I'm surprised that we're able to even get this off but slowly we're gonna unclap this car Trying to figure out my headlights and this is what I've been dealing with on this car this whole time. Look at how this is wired. So this car still has HIDs which I am going to eliminate and use LEDs in the projectors. better it's crazy how much of a difference headlights make on a car especially when you go to a restored better looking headlight just the beginning I went with the yellow DRLs instead of white like on the wagon before just to switch it up a bit I think it looks really cool uh, especially on the black car little by little it's going to look better and see how badly sun faded the hood is i'll be getting this all resprayed this i'm gonna get a new trunk because this one's dented up and it's sun faded it it rained on me so i uh, can't really tell right now but They'll clean it up. This badge will be going too. It doesn't actually fit, it's just 3M'd on. You can see the pinhole right underneath it. I will be selling the T7Rs. They're just way too aggressive for this car. It's not something I want to run. And I just want to have some wheels that fit better. I mean, honestly, if I took the fronts and put them in the rear, that'd probably be perfect. But then I would have to find fronts, and honestly, I just don't want to go through that. Be better off just selling them. Really, my plan with this car is to clean it up, simplify it, and just make it look nice. As in, it's just it's just not personally my style. I know I've been kind of ripping on this car a lot, but it is cool, and I think it was a lot cleaner at some point, but. It might have gone through some neglect and my goal is to just kind of bring it back to life. this far thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe i'm going to try and be as active as possible but i have a lot to do on pretty much all the cars so there's a lot more content coming 
appreciate it and until next time